Today I'm going to run through some L-sit to tuck planche progressions. I'm going to cover both the ones on the higher P-bars from that L-sit position and also straddle L-sit version on lower P-bars. Now these progressions can also be done on boxes if you don't have P-bars or just prefer the steps or the boxes and they carry over nicely to handstands. Now, first of all, we just need to check out the static positions. So we have the L-sit position. Now this can be done on anything. It can be done on the floor. It can be done raised up. Normal position that people get used to first is this tuck position, knees nice and high, and then slowly progress in to open the legs out. Now, opening the legs out is obviously much harder, both from a flexibility and a strength point of view. And I recommend you always work so your knee is higher than your hip crease. So as you straighten the legs, a lot of people will do that. So when they go from that position, this is gonna happen. I would only go to the point where you can keep the knee higher than the, ki than the hip crease. So there, and you'd extend maybe to there only. And for use with the transitions, I'd make sure you have at least a 10 second hold in whichever variation that you're gonna do. So if I'm gonna go straight, I need to make sure I can do this for 10 seconds. It's harder to hold a conversation where I do it as well. Exactly the same for the straddle position. Now this one is a little bit harder to have the higher knee position, but I'd work something like this so your feet are definitely off the floor. You could bend the knees, but if you bend the knees a lot, you'd wanna be up on those higher P-bars or higher boxes. Then we have the tuck planche position. Now most people will be aiming for hip in line with shoulder, tight tuck position. And again, goal would be 10 seconds in this position. Aiming for full protraction. So really rounding that upper back. And if you don't quite have it yet, you can still work these transitions, but you might need to have a higher hip position. So a higher hip position would be more like this or a lower hip position like that. Now just be careful whichever variation you're gonna do if you're not quite strong enough to hold that 10 second full tuck planche position. Make sure that your scapula is really protracted. Don't allow it to be retracted or collapsed in any way. And then we can jump straight in and see if we have the eccentric. So coming from your tuck planche position, going through to your L-sit. So into your tuck position, hold for two or three seconds, and then slowly come down to the L-sit variation that you're aiming for. Same to the straddle position. If you have that controlled, fantastic. You can just work that for sets and reps, trying to make it as slow as possible, holding in the top for slightly longer in that tuck planche, and then holding that bottom position for longer as well. But if you drop or collapse, or you just go too fast, then we need to make it slightly easier. Now here's a few ways you can make it easier. So we could go up on those higher bars, stick a step or a box in between, and now I can step into that planche position for a couple of seconds. And then for the transition, I can put my foot down go through the movement, finishing the l -sit. On the lower bars, it could be toe assist, tuck position there, and then tippy toes, walk round to find your l -sit. So you're just looking for the best assistance exercises that helps you mimic the actual eccentric as close as you can to the real thing. And one that doesn't drop and you make sure you get good time under tension, both at the top, through the transition and that hold at the bottom. Once we have the nice controlled eccentric, we can then start to play with the concentric on the way back up. So we can do the full eccentric like this, slowly coming down to the L sit. Now we need to get back. Now slight assistance here could be using momentum, or you could use that box again. So do the clean eccentric, but then use the box help to go back up. You could use the same two variations with the straddle version. So from there through to your straddle, now momentum or speed to get through. The same down, but toe assist to get back up. Or another option if we have good bent arm strength would be to do the straight arm eccentric and then to come back through, we bend the arms, push up and then go back through. Now in some ways that's harder, but if you have good handstand push-ups, you'll actually find it easier. Just make sure you get back to that full protraction, which is the hard bit. Then once you have the concentric, you have some options. You could do repetitions of shorter holds Or we do longer holds in both the L-sit position and in the tuck planche position. 
And then once your tuck planche is strong, you can start to open up to harder planche variations. So advanced tuck or straddle planche. Now that's getting to the point where it's impossible for me to talk, but you get the idea. And another progression would be instead of stopping in the tuck planche, you carry on all the way up into your handstand like a planche press to handstand. Let me know if you have any questions on this one down in the comments. Reach out if you're interested in coaching and I'll speak to you in the next one. Thanks guys.